So today we're going to be looking at some of the tips and tricks um, with using Turnitin in an Ultra course. So first I'm going to navigate to the assignment inbox and I'm going to just do that by clicking on the uh, Turnitin assignment I created earlier. And this will launch the assignment inbox. So here I'll be able to view all my students on my course. I'll be able to see their paper titles and I'll be able to see their similarity score and start grading by using the pencil icon. Also from here, I'll be able to see whether or not they've viewed their feedback. So this means that once I've graded it and posted the grades out to them uh, after the post date, they'll be able to view and I can see whether or not they've had a look at that. I can also, if I have a long list of students, search for someone's name and narrow down the list here. I can submit on behalf of a student as well. This is really handy if you have a student who's struggling to upload, they can maybe email across their submission and you can submit it on behalf of them and it will come under their name here and it will still check for plagiarism uh, and generate paper IDs, etc. as well. In the three dots here at the end, I can also download and delete um, submissions. So if a student has submitted to the wrong thing, I can delete it uh, and I can also download it from here. This little refresh button, um, this kind of replaces the roster sync that you used to see in original courses. Um, so if you find that there are students missing off your list, you can use the little refresh. If students have, say they've submitted, but it hasn't shown on this here, you can use that to refresh the inbox data. From here, I can also download all the papers. Um, so I can download the original files, standard, um, PDF, so I can change everything that's a docx to a PDF, even the grade mark, grade report, submission list, etc. from here. Um, in the top right, I have this little notification area here. Um, so this will actually just show you notifications to do with Turnitin itself. So this is a system message and it's probably about maintenance that's happening. Um, so you can always check this. If you have a little red dot, you know there's something new there. And you can have a look if there's any maintenance scheduled, for example, July 8th, um, which is the next day. I would know that maybe, okay, I, that's the deadline. This could affect student submissions. So I'll maybe move the deadline to be a bit later to give them extra time during that maintenance. So that's really handy. And it's something that we didn't get with the previous version, but we've got here. This little question mark icon, that is the help desk. That will be the official Turnitin help desk. So if there is something wrong uh, and it's not something that the learning technologies team can fix and it is to do with Turnitin, you can use this here uh, and look through the help guides and get in touch with Turnitin. And finally, we've got the settings cog here. And this will just take you back to the, the settings that you set up um, when you were creating the assignment and it will let you change things like the start date, the release uh, date. Um, at this point, you can't change the due date uh, because it's already been uh, in kind of process, but you can change the, the feedback date and you could go through the optional settings and change some of these as well if you need to. I'll just go back to the assignment inbox. So there's some quick tips and tricks that you can do in the assignment inbox in the ultra version of Turnitin.